Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here in our back to our project, we have learned about the animations and all those things. Let's try to implement the animations in our project. Here if you try to select a particular course, we will be able to see an animation that we have did it in our CSS thing. If you try to see here we have used our transition border color and this one from our main courses we are using this animation selected mode to scale it and this border color we are trying to animate it. So this is, this is, these are all the common things which we are trying to do it. Now let's try to implement the same functionality and all those things in the using the angular animations. So I will try to implement the same functionality this one using the angular animations. Let's try to see so here what I will do is let's go to our uh, courses. So here is the place where we are doing the animations, right? I will create a new file animations.ts so that I can write all the trigger state and all those things in this one animations.ts here I will export constant trigger state is equal to I need to fire the trigger so this should be imported from angular animations and trigger we need to use the trigger name so I can have something like selected trigger or anything which whatever the name here this is the name I am using and here we need to have a state so first state I will be using is the default state and in this one I will use the style so let's try to implement this style afterwards and this state should be imported from the again from the angular animations so these are common and this style is also should be imported from the angular animations now we need to have an another state so state of this is nothing but selected let's say and we will be having this style same thing we will be having a style so these are the two things which I, which I would try to implement it. Now let's try to move this one. Yeah. Now for this default one, default one, it should be something like border one pixel black and the padding should be 20 pixel and background color will be transparent or otherwise we can leave the background color. So this is the thing and here it should have border something to two pixel solid blue. If we are increasing it to two pixel means then we need to I will keep it like this and we will be having a background color of background color of light blue I will be using like this so these are the two states which you will be having and here if I try to use the same thing so we will not able to see any animations why because just we have created the animation so this is coming from the CSS thing only now let's go to the courses.component.ts file so where we need to include this one yeah here I will be using the animations so where is our thing yeah here I need to use the animations okay and here I need to use the trigger trigger state which we need to import it from the animations that's it now let's go to the app.module and here we know that we have included the browser's animation module so this is one important thing which we need to do it yeah fine now what I want to do is animations.ts we have it and courses.component.ts we have included the animations let's go and uh, to the courses.component.html file and in this courses.component.html file what I need to do is yeah, here I can remove this one selected uh, class ok so selected class I need to remove it what I would try to do is now the animations will not be there why because the class I have removed it now if you see here if you if I refresh it now we are not able to see any animation why because this is the class which is responsible so if you try to see here this is the class which is the selected class will be applied whenever we have selected that course is equal to this one now this selected class is important why because using this dot selected only we are adding the background border color and also the animation we are doing now we are removing this selected color for this html and we need to apply our own trigger state angular animation so for this one what we need to do add the rate the trigger state right so trigger states or not not i think selected trigger i think the name should be here animations.ts this is the name which we need to use it so here i have used the selected trigger and i need to apply the states so when this selected course index is equal to is equal to i so that means selected course index means the user which he is trying to select is equal to equal to the in, is the for loop index thing then we need to apply a selected or otherwise it needs to apply default one only that's it now if you go here let's refresh and if you see the output see automatically we are able to see a blue background uh, border color and also color is applied 
but we are not seeing any animation we need to apply the animation now for this one what we need to do is we already know we have already discussed about these all things let's go to the animations.ts file and here we need to add a animations so here i will use the transition transition which should be imported from the angular animations here again when we are going to default to the selected one okay so here when we go from default when the you when the element is changing from default to selected state then we need to animate and here we can use 500 milliseconds ease out okay so now if you see here let's refresh it now if i click here see we are able to see an animation if i click on this one automatically this animation is going away very quickly and this animation selection animation is applying smoothly now we can also apply another one something like selected to default selected to default then we need to animate 500 milliseconds ease out now if you try to see here see smoothly it has been applied smoothly it is applying smoothly is removing smoothly is applying but the timing is very much high so we will make it as 300 milliseconds maybe this could somewhat uh, it will uh, move it fastly now if i see here see now somewhat it is fast so this is how we can implement this one now the final thing what i want to tell you is that so we have implemented this one we need to have a bump up effect previously we have seen the bumping effect right so it needs to come something like a bumping and it needs to go away so for this one what i can do is in this animation only i can use the style so i can have something like uh transform sorry transform it should be transform scale 1.02 i can use it like this now let's see what could happen now if you see here if i click on this one yes we are able to see but one type of bumping effect we are able to see right so we are able to see one type of bumping uh, not bumping effect some padding if i remove the scaling thing now you will be able to observe it i will try to show you some zigzag effect we are able to see now let's try to select it see it is moving little bit down see somewhat it is moving little bit down right or otherwise you are not able to see it what for this one what we can do is yeah it's fine we can have something like uh, here uh, from default to selected i can make it as in padding 90 pixel and i can make it as a border sorry border 2 pixel solid black and I can use a transform here so when we are trying to select to default thing I can use a style here and I can get back to the padding of 20 pixel sorry padding of 20 pixel and it should be border of 1 pixel solid black yeah now if you see the output it will be a somewhat smoother so if I click here see we are able to see somewhat smoother so like this we can able to get it so we are able to implement the animation and also the bumping effect also we are able to do it now here uh, that's it guys so this is all about the thing and here we are able to get the transform effect also and another thing what I want to do is let's clean up the CSS also here if I go to the courses.component.css there is no need of this animation Oh, here i can remove this animation and i think there is no need of this selected also right so now the selected everything is coming from there and in the course.component.css if i try to remove the course.component.css where is this course.component.css yeah here what i can say the transition we can remove it off the padding we can remove it off the host selected also we can remove it off I think border one pixel black is also we can remove it off. This is all coming from the animations thing. Now if you see the output, let's see how it will look like. Oh, everything gone I think. I think I have removed everything. So host should have the, what is that one? Padding of 20 pixels. So let's keep it padding of 20 pixel. Let's see. This one also I will remove. Host selected should be removed, but 20 pixels should remain like that only. I am thinking it like this let's see yeah now we are able to get the same thing so this is how we can implement the animation through the angular thing so they, this is all completely through the angular animations so previously we have implemented through the CSS so this is implemented through the angular animations 
now what i will do is i will commit this entire code in a new branch video hyphen 29 and i am committing this all code so angular animations implement let's commit this all the code so whoever may be having a doubts and everything if you want to refer this particular code means you can use my github repository url so the video link is provided in the description below not the video link sorry the github repo link will be provided in the description below whoever may be having a doubts in the code and if you want to refer this particular code means whatever the video you are trying to watch it you can go to this particular video branch and you can uh, clone the code and you can check it hope you understood about this angular animations thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.